Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News. Today, we're diving into a game that has taken the gaming community by storm, blending humor, homage, and hardcore gameplay into one delightful package. We're talking about Arzette, the Jewel of Faramore, a game that's not just a love letter to classic gaming, but also a masterclass in parody done right. Let's break down what makes this game a must-play and why it might just be the jewel in the crown of this year's gaming lineup. The Genius of Parody Arzette, the jewel of Faramore, does something phenomenal. It captures the essence of parody with the finesse of a master painter. Think weird Al Yankovic, but in gaming form. This isn't just about poking fun. It's about celebrating the quirks, the oddities, and the sheer madness of the games that have come before, particularly those infamous Philips CD Zelda titles. But here's where Arzette shines its done with love, not malice, making it stand out in the realm of parody games. The story and setting. Imagine a world where the demon Lord Damer was sealed away, only for his flunky, the evil Duke Nautilke, to accidentally free him a decade later. It's up to Arzette, our diligent princess, to save the day once more. The setup is ripe for comedy, but it's the execution that elevates it. From the over-the-top cutscenes reminiscent of those CD, Izelda games to the absurd NPCs you'll meet along the way, Arzette embraces its roots while charting its own hilarious course. The voice acting, a cut above. Bringing back Jeffrey Rath and Bonnie Jean Wilbur, the original voices behind Link and Zelda from the CDI games, was a stroke of genius. Their performances, alongside Angel Ray's earnest portrayal of Arzette, breathe life into this parody in a way that's both hilarious and heartwarming. The commitment to going whole hog on voice deliveries adds a layer of authenticity and enjoyment that's rare in games today. Gameplay, more than just laughs. At its heart, Arzette is a solid Metrovania platformer. The game takes you through a myriad of environments, from swamps to volcanoes, each with its own set of challenges and mini-bosses. The gameplay is tight, rewarding exploration and clever use of resources. What's impressive is how Arzette balances difficulty with accessibility, making it enjoyable whether you're a hardcore gamer or someone just in it for the laughs. Artistic Direction, a trippy homage. The art and animation of Arzette pay homage to its CDI inspirations without crossing into the realm of mockery. The deliberately janky animations and psychedelic color swirls serve as a nod to the past while establishing Arzette as a unique title in its own right. It's a delicate balance, but one that Arzette achieves with flair and a knowing wink to its players. My verdict, Arzette. The Jewel of Faramore is a triumph in gaming parody, blending impeccable humor with solid gameplay mechanics. It's a game that respects its roots while daring to be different. The clever use of voice acting, combined with a lovingly crafted world, makes Arzette a standout title. The gameplay is engaging, the art direction is bold, and the fun factor is off the charts. Graphics, sound, and gameplay all come together to create an experience that's not just a trip down memory lane, but a fresh adventure that stands on its own. Arzette isn't just a game to play, it's a game to experience, laugh with, and most importantly, enjoy to the fullest. Final verdict, 9-5 out of 10. Arzette. The Jewel of Faramore isn't just a game. It's a testament to the power of parody done right. It's available on PC, PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox Series XS, and Nintendo Switch. I played it on PC, and I'm already planning my next playthrough. So, what do you think? Are you ready to dive into the world of Arzette and see for yourself what makes this game so special? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more gaming goodness right here on Joystick News. Until next time, keep gaming, keep laughing, and never forget the joy of exploration.